What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Coaster Nostra back at you guys with another sneaker review, unboxing, and of course that on feet, guys, with the sock combo. Let's jump right into it. All right, guys, we've done a handful of these. One of my favorite silhouettes in terms of these player models that's dropping right now, the Nike PG4 in a size 11 and a half, guys. Unfortunately, my size was sold out. The colorway on these is light cream slash total orange. Guys, let's check this colorway out. All right, guys, there they are in hand, the Nike PG4 in that digital camo colorway. These are really dope. I really, really like this colorway. I really, really like the digital camo print. That really is what draws your eye to this shoe. It is definitely the most noticeable thing about this shoe other than maybe that total orange color that you see in some portions of the shoe. If you've been following the PG line, if you've been following my channel guys, you would maybe recognize that there is a similar colorway of these that we have already reviewed. That other colorway was actually exclusive to NBA 2K gamers. And the PG4 was a shoe that was actually heavily supported by NBA 2K. And what I mean by that is, I believe this shoe had more drops from that game than any other shoe. I wanna say everything else, there was only maybe one drop. Maybe the LeBrons had two drops as well. But this shoe, there was that alternate Gatorade exclusive colorway. And then there was that first digital camo colorway that was available. They hadn't actually released pictures, I wanna say at the time of these. So at that point, that was the only look that we had at sort of a digital camo colorway. And then guys, these things surfaced on shelves, sorta as things are starting to open up and whatnot from the shutdown. The crazy thing about this colorway, the first place I saw them was online at Champs and literally the day they released these guys, they were immediately on sale. A lot of these PG colorways are on sale, but for them to drop a brand new colorway and it literally to be on sale immediately, that's almost unheard of. It just shows you how crazy things have gotten with some of these releases, especially non-Jordans. Almost everything at local Foot Lockers, local champs, almost all these colorways are on sale, especially stuff that was out before the shutdown. Some of these newer colorways or colorways that released during the shutdown, they are not necessarily on sale, but this colorway immediately went to sale, and even my local Foot Locker where I actually ended up picking them up, they got them a couple days late, and then literally like the third day of them having them, guys, they went right to sale, which is crazy. That's when I decided to pick them up, and they actually seemed like they were out of a couple sizes because I had to settle for this 11 and a half. And while a lot of people will tell you to size up in this shoe, I am somewhere between probably a 10 and a half and an 11. I basically buy everything in an 11 because with my Jordans, I always wear sneaker shields, and then all my player model shoes, most of the stuff that I buy, since I really don't buy a lot of LeBrons, a lot of these shoes to me run small or they run narrow, so I tend to have to sort of size up a little bit. And with these, I can rock an 11 all day, but honestly guys, that 11 and a half gives me a little bit of extra room. And guys, you really start to see how the material in the toe box really starts to scrunch up. I really haven't worn these, I've just tried them on. Even right out of the box, there's sort of some scrunching with that toe box. The uppers on this shoe are very soft since it's essentially like this cloth material, a mesh material on the other half. Of course you have the zipper. Of course you have the upper shroud system and the zipper and whatnot that ties it all together. There is a lacing system to this shoe. You sort of have the fly wire and everything else that we really see in almost all these Nikes nowadays. But to me guys, the highlight of this shoe is really what they did with the cushioning, with the midsole, what they actually decided to do with that air strap robo board and how they actually decided to inject the air into the midsole in various places. It really just makes for a really, really soft ride. These things really feel great under feet. I know I've heard a lot of digs on them in terms of people trying to wear them and play outside on outdoor courts and stuff like that and how the outsoles really don't necessarily hold up and they're really, really soft. Guys, I can't necessarily attest to that. It does feel like it's pretty soft, but I would have to think these would probably hold up fairly decently especially compared to just about anything else on the market. Of course, if you really wanna get something that you're gonna be playing on 
outdoors, you're probably going to have to ID something and go with that XDR outsole, which really holds up a little bit better. It's got a little bit tougher of a rubber to the actual outsole itself. I couldn't necessarily tell you how those things feel under feet, but this version of the shoe, these to me, they feel great under feet. It's a really, really soft feel. The cushioning underneath it is really, really soft. A lot of these basketball shoes, of course, have gone with the zoom units. And because those zoom units are injected with air, they give you a little bit more bounce. Whereas in these more traditional air units are a little bit more cushioning, a little bit more forgiving, a little bit more like a pillow where it's really just accepting your foot as it's coming down and not necessarily springing you back. So kind of two different ideas, two different technologies, and really a matter of an opinion in terms of what you personally might like more. I really love this shoe. You guys know I'm a Kyrie guy. I didn't want to love this shoe as much as I do, but I really do like these and some of these crazier colorways, guys. These are, of course, right up my alley. The one thing that I will say about this camo colorway versus that 2K exclusive colorway, they're somewhat similar. They both sort of feature kind of orange or sort of brownish tones to the shoe. There is sort of this kind of dusty cactus color on the actual laces on this variety of the shoe, whereas in, I want to say the swoosh and some other accents on the other colorway sort of feature that same similar color. So it's interesting how there's somewhat of a similar color palette. Of course, there is a little bit of variations and whatnot, but they're kind of in the same family in my opinion. It's hard for me to really pick a favorite between the two because as I said, the two colorways are somewhat similar. I feel like this colorway is a little bit more traditional, a little bit more than what you'd expect. That other colorway, I want to say, featured russet. It was a little bit more brown, a little bit more of a neutral tone, not something you really see on shoes really much at all. But then this shoe, you've got that bright orange on the actual swoosh, which sort of had this kind of grid material. I really like that actual swoosh on this and the other 2K colorway. You'll see more of that total orange on things like the actual zipper pull that's featured in the middle of the shoe. The sock liner of the shoe, the back lining to the tongue, the back heel pull is half black and half bright orange. So you see some more of that. There's of course a very, very large chunk of that outsole that features that really, really bright orange. And then of course, last but not least, you got the orange tips on the laces, which is a really, really nice touch. I really, really like the laces. And for the most part, I like what they've done with the laces as a whole with all these colorways. I like that they went with a kind of two-tone flat lace. It's a little bit of a different look to a lace, not your traditional rope lace, your traditional flat lace. It's a little bit smaller, a little bit thinner. And then you can see the white lines that are stitched through the lace. A nice little touch right there. And I really, really dig those little orange tips. You can see hints of the laces on the medial portion of the shoe underneath the mesh. And then you can see hits of dark blue on the weaves that sort of make their way up to the laces that the laces are interlocked through. Nice little contrast there. It looks like the rest of the color underneath that mesh is essentially gonna be white, somewhat like the midsole. You've got sort of a white or maybe a little bit darker than white color on that midsole. And then you've got some blue speckling on the midsole. That little triangle that's featured on the lateral portion has some blue and orange speckling on it, which I think is a nice little touch right there. Back on that medial portion, you've got a miniaturized total orange swoosh right back there. Another nice little touch, a nice little contrast on the rest of that shoe. I personally like how these shoes look when you wear them unzipped and you kind of leave the shroud a little bit more exposed and the lacing system a little bit exposed. You got that really, really fancy, in my opinion, kind of almost like a wine seal logo on the tongue, which features that PG logo. To me, it just reminds me of almost like what you would see on top of like a wine cork you know, with that real fancy foil, or maybe like an old school king seal or something like that. Just really gives off a vibe of authenticity, in my opinion. As we flip to the outsole, the outsole has that pretty dope circular pattern all over the outsole, so it should give you some pretty uniform traction throughout, guys. As we stated before, you have a large hit of orange on that outsole, which is sort of gonna be outlined around the outer edges all in black. Nice little touch there. They do feature that little pod back in the back just to highlight that full length air that they've got going on underneath the shoe, which of course is that air strobo board, 
which again guys I love the feel of that another dope colorway another dope pickup especially considering we these things were immediately on sale and you could get these things for a good price guys what do y'all think Y'all like these, y'all copping these, y'all sleeping on these. Fan of this colorway, have you seen this colorway? Guys, let me know down below. Let's check these things out on feet. Thank you for rocking with me and my videos. Throw me any comments down below, guys. I'll try to hit you guys back. Y'all know what to do. Comment, like, subscribe. Much love, fam. Peace.